Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to multi-stream. Specifically, this one's going to be for how to stream to Twitch and TikTok at the same time. So in my previous video, I had an example of how you could stream to Twitch and TikTok simultaneously using two instances of OBS. In this example, you're only going to need one OBS. The only thing you're going to need is a plugin for OBS, which I'll leave in the description. There's a link right there. The plugin is going to be called the Sora Yuki OBS Multi RTM plugin. If you're running OBS 28, you're going to want to download the latest version. It's right here. It says for OBS 28. And then you have the four files here or the four versions that you could download. The easiest one, in my opinion, was the zip file. I had some issues installing the exe just because i have multiple instances of obs and i have my obs saved in a specific spot so i'll walk through how to do it with the zip file so go ahead and click it and let it download into your downloads folder once you have it downloaded it should look something like this it's in zip format if you right click and then just click on extract files or extract here it should automatically extract those files or folders into the same location i'm not going to do that i have mine already extracted so i'll show you right here i'll just double click on the extracted file it should be called obs multi rtmp portable and inside this folder should be two folders it's going to say data in one of them and the other one's going to say obs plugins okay so this is one folder we'll go ahead and keep open now you're going to want to locate where your obs files are located in order to do that just open a new instance or new windows on your explorer right here you're going to go ahead and go into local disk c which should be probably most likely where your files are located and then you're going to go ahead and click on program files i noticed it wasn't in the x 64 bit one or the x86 whatever that one was called it's in program files scroll down and you'll see how my obs is titled obs dash studio go ahead and double click that and then in your obs folder you're going to notice how there's actually another two folders called data and obs plugins let's go back to our obs multi rtm portable file or folder and you'll see how there's a data and obs plugins so simply what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click the plugin data folder and copy everything in there so double click that you have obs plugins i'm going to go back to my obs folder data double click that obs plugins so we'll double click on the obs plugin side on the plugins folder and then we'll double click on the obs plugins folder in our obs studio and then here you'll see there's a bunch of data folders that are for other plugins, etc. And then here you'll have the OBS Multi RTM folder. What you're gonna want to do is simply just drag and drop this into the data folder right there. I already have mine in there, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do this. Essentially, after that, you're gonna want to back out to get to this main view again, where it says data and OBS plugins. Same thing, back out into the OBS where you see OBS plugins in the data folder. Double click on OBS plugins now on the plugin side. Double click on OBS plugins on your OBS folder side. And then here you'll see 64 bit. So double click on the 64 bit here. Double click on the 64 bit side here. And then you'll see how you could copy or drag and drop this into your OBS folder. For plugins i'm not going to do it again i already have this plugin installed so i'm just going to hit x but that's essentially what you're going to want to do it's going to ask you for permission um for admin permission just say yes move the folder or files in there and that's it so once you open obs this is what it's going to look like you're going to notice a new plugin right here that pops up it's called multiple output if you don't see it go into docs and click on the multiple output right there and it should show or hide it you're going to want to add a new target so right now if your settings are set to stream onto twitch they should look something like this where you click on the stream tab and it'll say twitch or youtube or facebook whatever you have your main 
stream set to. You're not going to need to change that. That's the great thing about this. You keep all your bit rate, your video resolution, all that the same in your main stream. You're only going to change the ones where you add for multiple outputs. So what you do is add a new target. Go ahead and click on that. For me, you can name it. I'm going to name mine TikTok because I mainly stream to TikTok right now. Now for the RTMP server, you're going to go to TikTok.com. I'm going to go ahead and hide my stream key and RTM link info. And you're going to copy and paste those two keys in here and in here. Right now, I'm not going to paste them so it doesn't show. It usually shows in asterisks, but it, it doesn't do it here. It'll actually show my stream key. Um, the encoder settings, so video settings, this is interesting. You could actually just go ahead and leave everything else the same and hit OK. But you could also custom set different resolutions. For example, for TikTok, it's recommended to stream at 3500 bit rate at 720. You could do 1080p, I've done it before, but usually 720 is like kind of enough for that mobile size for any mobile devices. So instead of clicking on the get from OBS, choice here you could you know choose your encoder whether it's x264 or nvenc new i usually go with nvenc right here resolution size if i want 720 i do 1280 by 720 and these are the settings that i personally use at the moment bit rate 3500 keyframe intervals i do two keyframe intervals and two b frames so i'll just keep that the same and just keep it 2 2 and you hit ok and that's it. And if you wanted to add a new target, you could click on add new target, type in Facebook gaming and get your RTM server, stream key, change your encoder settings, hit OK. And the only thing you have to do now is literally hit start streaming down below right here and then hit the two start buttons. And it's as simple as that. This method, in my opinion, is way easier than running two instances where I had to open a virtual cam, do all this other stuff, and I had two OBSs I had to look over. Also, I haven't done thorough testing, but I'm guessing that running this plugin is probably way more resource friendly and conservative than running two instances of OBS while gaming or streaming. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure you leave a thumbs up, be sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.